mixed reactions have continued to trail the performance of the present administration in Nigeria under President Muhammad Buhari. Welcome to Njenji Media TV. Your star station. Follow us on all our social media feed, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and lots more. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the bell icon for notification. I am John Paul Annie. Pa Professor Moses Ochono. For the past several months, certainly after the election, two things have been happening in Nigeria on a weekly basis. One, Buhari's regime has been replacing heads of federal agencies and establishments. Two, the regime has been appointing new heads of MDEs to occupy vacant positions. At least 90% of those being removed are southerners, and their replacements are northerners, overwhelmingly Muslim, Hausa, Fulani, or Kanuri northerners, to be sure. At least 90% of the new appointments into vacant MDA leadership positions are northerners, and also overwhelmingly northerners of the aforementioned variety. Someone said nothing is certain or guaranteed in Nigeria nowadays. <laughs> well, <laughs> it may be true. There is still one certainty, one thing you can count on without fail. Almost every week, Buhari will appoint another northerner to occupy a vacant position or replace a southerner with a northerner in an MDA. In his first term, the Buhari regime's signature identity was nepotism. Across the political and regional spectrums, Nigerians of conscience railed against this reckless modernization of Nigeria and pointed out that its short-term and long-term consequences. The regime ignored the complaints and waxed defensive. Now, in the second term, Buhari has doubled down on the nepotism. The nepotism has moved into full-blown arewization. A nation already fractured by divisive elections, electoral manipulation, bitter adversarial political contests, religious rivalries and et ethnic suspicions is being further torn apart by a cabal of boycotts dedicated to an modernization agenda that would have embarrassed Sarudwana Amadubelu, the architect of original modernization policy. Buhari is ruling Nigeria as an Arewa Republic in complete disregard of Nigeria's diversity. Between the runaway incompetence and economic mismanagement, including the mismanagement of our diversity, I don't know which one will prove fatal to the country under this boycotted dictator. When you talk, his provincial supporters will see the northerners he is appointing are qualified, as though other regions have no qualified people. Other northern supporters are even more honest and brazen in their chauvinism, declaring that other regions did not give the regime the majority of their vote and deserve to be ignored, or that the north can do it as it pleases them, because it has the number to do so without being inclusive and without taking the interests and anxieties of other regions into account. Hmm. But even if we take this nonsensical excuse seriously, would we not have to account for individuals in the southern regions who are either apolitical or supported Buhari? 
would we not be endorsing the homogenization and erasure of individual political subjectivities? We have had incompetent leaders before, but they at least respected and delicately managed Nigeria's multi-layered diversity, which is a source of constant centrifugal tensions and pressures that threaten the social fabric. Their appointments reflected their foundational recognition of this diversity and of course the need to nurture it through practices and policies of inclusion and national belonging. Now, in the case of this incompetent regime, the dysfunction is not only unprecedented, the provincialism is unfamiliar and brazen, setting a bad precedence that is sure to be replicated by a future non-northern leader if Nigeria survives the current darkness. Oh, the regime is giving Nigeria and Nigeria and Nigerians the middle finger. It is testing the limits of Nigeria's fragility, almost daring the country to produce the much speculated backlash against extreme parochialism. We would like to um, know about your own thought. Thanks for being there. John Paul Annie in Media TV.